Okay, okay, okay. We got some chilling scares today, man. Disturbing things caught on Trucker's dash cam footage, bro. We all know truckers are always out at in night. In February of 2015, so this pair of truck drivers was driving down the highway when a white truck quickly sped up to them. It got in front of them and slowed down, forcing them to stop their truck altogether. They thought the man inside was trying to tell them something, like their brake lights weren't working or something, so they pulled to the side of the road. But once they stopped, no one got out of the white truck. It circled the two truckers and stopped right next to them, even blocking oncoming traffic at times. The person inside could now clearly be seen, but he just sits there, staring at them. They worried the man had a gun, and so they decide to drive away. But this causes the white pickup to pull right in front of them. What's his problem? Don't get out of the truck. Do not get out of the truck. Do not get out of the truck. It might be a setup. It might be, it might be a setup, my boy. It is a setup. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there. Ram him. No, don't ram him. Does he think you cut him off or something? It's a setup. If you come down from the truck, you might get you might get ganged up on. Do you see what's his tag? I can't see his tag. The truck drivers are forced to back up to get around. They try to record the license plate, but it's not entirely visible. After a few seconds of just sitting there, the white pickup backs up to be in line with the truck. The truck drivers take this opportunity to try and drive away. He ran into the truck? As they drive off, the white pickup rams into their back trailer in what can only be assumed an attempt to get them to stop. But they keep going and eventually lose the white pickup. A bit further down the road, they park and wait for police to arrive. When they did, they started a search and after a while found the white pickup on the side of the road a bit further down. They detained the man inside and after seeing the video arrested him. Police later determined the man was not in his right mind and oh. the outcome could have easily been worse than it was. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, bro. In my head, I was thinking kidnapping, set up, ambush, something with valuable was in that truck. They were trying to get them to come down from the truck because if they don't come down, they can easily, if they try to ambush them while inside the truck, they can easily step on it and lose them. You know, trucks are fast, forget, and they are heavy. They are not that, they are not that easy to stop. So they can literally run through whatever you put in front of them. So I was thinking staying in the truck, but maybe the dude not being in his right senses kind of makes sense, kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah, he should get the help he needs, man, bro. Like, damn, that would have been scary The stash cam footage was taken at 5 in the morning on July 29th, 2016. The truck is in Calais, a city in France that overlooks the narrowest point in the English Channel. It's headed for a port which will take it over the channel to the UK. As it continues on the road, the truck in front of it suddenly breaks, causing the truck with the dash cam to lay on the horn. Shortly after, multiple men with flashlights appear on the road, throwing rocks at the truck, trying to get it to stop. They even use tree branches as makeshift roadblocks. Yeah, this one is definitely an ambush. This one is definitely a setup. I, do, I know these tactics anywhere, bro. Try and get you to stop, and then once you stop, you're finished. Trucks smash through the tree branches, not stopping, knowing that if they do, they could be injured or worse. Yeah. The men in the video on the side of the road are a gang of migrants trying to be smuggled into the UK by any means possible. Oh. They'll set up makeshift roadblocks, throw rocks at the windows of trucks, stand in the road, all in an attempt to get trucks to stop. If they're successful, they'll use different weapons to threaten truck drivers into smuggling them over the border. Oops. Reports of these occurrences, both successful and unsuccessful, come in somewhat frequently. 
many other dash cams on trucks driving through the same area have captured similar occurrences. This one shows a hijacking attempt with more people involved. Yo, look, look, let me say something. If you are ever in a car at night, or even during the day, do not stop once you see people trying to disrupt your flow. Do not stop. All these people that they, they someone will cut them off and then they will come down from the car and then they will start yelling and they will start, they get out, bro, they start doing so much. I'm like, bro, that can go south really fast, bro. I've heard of stories on end, bro. I live in Nigeria. Now, listen, kidnapping is a madness in this country. Now, you have to be wise and know when I swear. This is an attempt. You pull out a corner, you see a car waiting just waiting people inside sitting waiting do not stop ram ram your way through bro ram your way through you're on the road you see cops that kind of look shady and they are trying to stop you ram your way through and now i don't mean in the city in the city it's gonna happen but i mean like in all those stretches of road that are just bushes and lonely roads and you nah 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 ram your weight never stop because stopping for a split for a split second can mean either you live that day or you die bro look at how many people do not bro keep going lock your doors and keep going keep go thank you back up back up no don't back up that's a dangerous thing to do Keep going. They are not. They, they like their life too much to not to, to not get out of the way. Keep going. Typically, these attempts occur between 12 and 6 a.m. Police in Calais have been working to fully eradicate the issue for years. Don't look at how many people. In 2021, Hurricane Ida, an extremely destructive Category 4 hurricane, hit the state of Louisiana. It was the second most powerful hurricane recorded to have done so. It quickly devastated the southernmost port of Louisiana as it moved upwards further into the U.S. The hurricane created multiple tornadoes as it did so. This semi-truck would find itself in the middle of one of them, all of which was caught on its dash cam. It happened in Horsham, Pennsylvania. The truck stops at a light, but upon turning green, the driver decides to stay put. The winds quickly begin picking up. Visibility continues to worsen as the power lines on the side of the road finally give way. The truck continues to be forcefully pushed around. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. for southeastern Pennsylvania. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia. At 3.15 p.m., Wednesday, the stage was 6.4 feet. Moderate flooding is forecast. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage light this evening to a crest of 14.8 feet tomorrow morning. Several driveways and other minor roadways are affected. Water begins to enter some basements. What, do you, what is the what is the procedure for hurricanes, bro? Not only only days. The winds are strong enough to push the truck over. The dash cam falls out of place, revealing the driver still being held in his seat from his seatbelt. Where your seatbelt, Almost immediately bro? after falling over, a man driving a van in front of the truck turned around and went over to help. The truck driver was assisted out of his truck, where the two men then ran for cover in a nearby building. The truck driver made it out with only minor injuries. Bro, I'm so glad to God that God didn't give Africa that update. The update of natural disasters, I'm so... <laughs> We haven't gotten that update yet. Thank you, Jesus. Hailstorms. Nope. Hurricanes. Nope. Tornadoes. Nope. Earthquakes. Nope. Floodings. Oh, yeah, we get frequent floodings. But aside that, we're chilling. <laughs> Volcanoes. Nope. The stash cam footage was taken in Russia. A driver stopped his truck on the side of the road to change out one of his wheels. As he does so, he notices the same vehicle pass by multiple different times. That means them. Worried whoever was inside had bad intentions, the driver walks up the road and finds a steel pipe to defend himself. Yes, sir. Shortly after, the car drives by again, but this time stops. Three bandits were inside. One of them, seen in a tracksuit, walks up to the truck and attempts to extort money from the driver for, quote, crossing their territory. 
but the driver stays inside his truck and calls for backup from other nearby truckers. Flog his head with the steel pipe. I like people like this, they be thinking smart. They've seen that car pass like three times. They, they, their, head, their head is already going red alert, red alert, red alert, red alert. He went quickly, got, got a steel pipe. Come at me. I dare you come at me. No, no, brother. Five minutes no, later, multiple trucks respond to his call for help. Now with backup, the driver gets out of his truck and confronts the bandits with his steel pipe. Yeah. Meanwhile, trucks continue to pile in, blocking the bandits from retreating. Mm. Now with almost 20 truckers, they flip the bandits' car over. Man, you, you gotta, you gotta love truckers, bro. How, who even thinks of flipping the car? <laughs> How did they result to that? I mean, call it a car. Bro, they flipped it. <laughs> they really flipped it. The car is left to sit upside down on the side of the road as all the truckers begin to leave, having saved one trucker from a potentially life-threatening situation. Yeah. Truckers are awesome, man. And their the stash cam so footage nice. was also taken in Russia. It was recorded on October 29th, 2013. The truck was carrying a shipment through the night. The road is pitch black, only lit up by the truck's headlights. All of a sudden, a tree falls directly in front of it, only seen when it appears in front of the headlights. Hmm, that would have been deadly. That's a deadly accident waiting to happen, man. Imagine he swerved. Hmm, control. Imagine he swerved. The tree falls only feet away from the truck. There's not enough distance to avoid it, forcing the driver into it. He swerves, but avoids overcorrecting more than he should, and yeah. therefore doesn't spin out and lose control. Control! This allows the driver to make it out with nothing more than slight damage to the front of the truck. I would have been deadly, bro. This semi-truck was sitting idly on the side of the road, when the dash cam captures a silver car pull up in front of it. The car is put in park, and a man gets out. He starts walking up to the truck, and seeing no one inside, walks around to the driver's side door. It was left unlocked. The truck driver was outside, possibly changing a tire or inspecting his back trailer. It's not made entirely clear. The man then rummages through the truck driver's things before making a run for it back to his car, having taken a black bag. That's when the truck driver realizes what's going on and chases after him. At your old age, at your old, at your big age, this is what you're doing with your life. See, at your old age, glasses, gray hair, and everything, you've decided to to thief, to, to become a criminal, a stealer, a thief, with your white Corolla. Is that white or ash? Look, you can't even run properly. If the cops chase you, you, look, imagine, you can't even run. You can't even, look, 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 bro, oh my days, bro. Oh! For whatever reason, after getting in the passenger side door and beginning to drive off, the car stops and the man throws the bag on the ground. The car then continues to speed off as the trucker reclaims his bag. The license plate was never fully visible in the video, so police couldn't really do anything. It's probably like a midlife, midlife, he's almost done with his life, but like, it's probably all those things that people just get a sudden bust of, I want to do something dangerous, and then they go and do it type stuff. That's probably what, because I don't see why that old man is, is out here committing ground theft off though. But hey yo, whatever man, y'all should tell me if you like the video or not man, I'm gone. Deuces.